Hello. Today we're going to hook the Jetson up to some batteries. So I have here a couple of 3S LiPo batteries with the warning. Let's open this baby up. Let's see, 3S 2100 milliamp hour 11.1 .1 LiPo battery with universal plug, two pack of them. Go big, get them both. Open it from this end. There's all the different types of plugs that you can put on it. It's kind of fun. And here's the actual battery itself. Activate your warranty. Register your product online now. Seven eight six four nine three. Void if removed. <laughs> okay. So it feels like there's nothing wrong with it, which is good. And I have a battery charger for it. Put that there. These little guys back in there. Spiffy little bag. Professional balance charger discharger. Genuine IMAX B64C V2. So it does all different types of batteries. It does lipos, uh, lithium ion, I I can't. Uh, lead. It also does smart charging, so it balances the different cells, and it has a discharge on it. Let's open it up and see what it has to say for itself. instruction manual. So the deal with LiPo batteries is when they ship them to you, they're about half full and they can sit like that for months pretty safely. If you have it fully charged and don't discharge it before you store it, there's a chance that something bad could happen. Like bad. Far. Our friends here to stop that and that's also true when you're charging it so what I would recommend is that you get a lipo sack when you go to charge it and put the battery in the sack and run it to the charger so let's see what's in here And they suggest that you never use the charger unsupervised. And I think that's an excellent piece of advice. Oh, look at this, all sorts of wires and leads and all that kind of stuff. And a plug. So plug goes in here, plug it straight into the wall. Oh, you also have a little micro USB so you can hook it into your PC. And this must be for other stuff. The balance sockets. 
So basically you plug this into the correct place. It must be the four banger. It goes right like that. So I get the lipo sack out and we'll charge this baby up. So we're all set up and charging. So the charging bag's pretty useful because these things have been known to catch fire and burn when you're charging them if they're out of spec. Another thing I should note is, just for safety's sake, this is just a kitchen fire extinguisher. You should use a class D fire extinguisher or have one on hand. Make sure that you're doing it on a flat fire retardant top. This is granite. It's not gonna be happy catching on fire, but just for the purposes of this video, it's, it'll be acceptable. It took about 25 minutes for this to finally charge. When it comes from the factory, it shipped at 3.8 volts per cell. There are three cells in here. When you charge it up, each cell goes to about 4.2 volts, which gives you 12.6 volts altogether. You're not supposed to run it underneath 3.3 volts or bad things happen. Basically, you can't get the same capacity out of it when you recharge it. To give you a sense of scale, it's about four inches long, inch and a half wide here. Probably about an inch or so tall. I have it put on an XT60 adapter on the end, end of this particular battery. It has a universal mount here, and then you select which connector you want. I chose the XT60 to go to this 2.1 millimeter barrel plug, which will fit the Jetson. So let me plug it in here. Don't know quite what to expect when I plug it into the Jetson, but we shall see. Let me turn the monitor on. For the sake of demonstration, I have it hooked on, up to a monitor and a USB hub. The USB hub is not powered by the battery. So I'll plug it in. Oh, powered up. That's a good sign. Fire extinguisher is ready. And we're up and running. So in a sense it's kind of a letdown because it just acts like it normally acts. And one of the things I should say is almost I have this set up as a desktop. And when you're running out of battery, those are not good optimizations to make. So we're going to have to look at that going forward. I'll keep this plugged in for a few hours and see how long the battery lasts. Also need to figure out how to turn the battery monitor on. I have a feeling that's going to be another video. Thank you.